Okay guys, we're back in training and we are discovering some interesting stuff regarding the Kion Hapo, the, the Kyo, Koshi Kion Sampo again. Yes, so we're working on the linear uh, Taijutsu of it. If you think about it, it's it's a linear, they are linear techniques, Ichimonji, Hicho, Jumonji. But the only difference is that we've been practicing this against the one punch, the Tsuki. So we have to understand and make this applicable against many punches. And which we're gonna demonstrate. Let's go. Okay. So uh, Kirin is going to demonstrate Jumonji no Kata, the traditional one. So the one we've been all practicing, or many of us have been practicing all these years. So I'm going with the, for the Jumonji, I'm going to do the Tsuki, and he's got his first part. We know that it's done on both sides, but it's irrelevant. <coughs> it's just an exercise to train it on both sides. The next attack could be anything, it could be a kick, or it could be finished as well. But the problem with this is when he's attacking my side of the ribs, or some people would strike here in the armpit, it's gonna create this opening that I'm gonna show you. hitting someone here they can rotate and generate power with the second punch so then you have to adapt how are we doing this so we do not do this okay. punch base. we do not need to do this and we do not need to step either yeah all we're gonna do is have the heel up in the hand, punch comes in, I stay in the center, now you see, the center is occupied. So how is he gonna hit me? He has to go around. And as he goes around, I extend my weapon and transfer my weight forward. So he's gonna do a cross and the next attack. See that? So that's how you do Jumonji against many punches. If you if you want to do it linear, so if you do it slow, one, I'm in range, Kamishitoe. I occupy the space. I'm not hitting up. If I hit up, it creates momentum for him to punch you, isn't it? <coughs> so uh, he's gonna do hitting up with me. <clears throat> it's already traveling in speed. You can't stop it. All I do is raise my raise my hand up as if the falcon or the hawk lands on your forearm. But it still has to be strong because this can if it goes through then you, you fail. One is there, two sternum, three. So I think we demonstrated this fast already, yeah? Yeah. So that's from the cross and the second attack. The next one, uh, Hicho. Hicho, he's throwing, right, the jab. How, how about we show the, the traditional one, right? So there's a tsuki to the, to the ribs. You go Hicho, you kick, and you go Shuko. Brilliant. But nobody really punches like that out there, unless they had a spear or a stick. So let's try it from the jab. And where's the opening now? It's in the ribs. So there he can throw a body shot. And he could damage you, right? So we have one, two, three, four. So again, the same stance, heal up. I got heal up so that I create the distance. But I create distance with a shield. Totoku. There's an X here. So then, if he throws a punch to the to the two punches to the face, that's still covered. If he's attacking uh, too fast, like <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know that there's the opening here. But if he's like more clever fighter, so you do the block. Could be a fake as well, right? 
It could be a fake attack. Some hunters are really good at that. So the option to do a heat shot in a practical situation. One, two, three, four. One more thing is it's not necessary to kick, just raise the leg, creating uh what do you call this? Creating a flinch. A flinch, yeah? Because I could do one, two, no, sorry, that's fine. One, two, he he will he will flinch and leave the opening to the face. But he does it really well, Kaden does it really well. So ready? One, two, and knock him out. Cool. So Ichimonji. We talked about Ichimonji, yes, as well. So linear Ichimonji. So the, the traditional one. One, two, and shoot him. <laughs> right? Okay. That's okay. But if we step too far, we are oh, we are already inviting that punch to come in. Which we've seen variations of it. So one, two, three. Yeah, I've seen that before. I've practiced that before. We've shown a variation that you could go uh, fist cross, covering that hand and then palm uh -huh. palm there. That's one way to do it, Chimonji, because you control both sides. But we've we've tried this against the jab cross, which is pretty interesting. So we one, two. So, on the jab cross, if the attacker is attacking randomly, <coughs> two punches, two fast punches to the head, okay, this is an opportunity for you to do Ichimonji no Kata, as shown in the, pretty much as shown in the traditional one, two, right? Even though I'm hitting with my knuckles, because it's faster, rather than switching hands. It could be Kopoken as well, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you knock them out. <laughs> right? So that's it, uh, pretty much, isn't it? And the variation we've shown recently as well from the jab cross is distance, yeah, counter punching from the outside. That would be the outside if you want.